Hello, I'm Dr Hannah O'Regan from the Department of Classics and Archaeology at the University of Nottingham and I'm going to talk to you today about um, joint honours degrees. So what is a joint honours degree and uh, is it the degree for you? So a joint honours degree is when you study two different subjects at university. So a single honours programme might be something like classics or archaeology, so you're just studying one topic, whereas a joint honours topic might be something like uh, archaeology and geography or ancient history and history or classics and um, uh, English. So you're taking two different topics and putting them together. Um, now this has enormous strengths, it allows you to get a breadth of knowledge looking much more broadly than perhaps just one degree programme, um, but it also comes with some constraints and those constraints are that you have to take uh, core modules in both of your subjects so that you get a good grounding in both and that means that you have slightly less choice around which modules you take in a joint honours programme than you have in a single honours programme. Now, if you are interested in a subject, like let's say you're, you've done history at A-level, you're interested in archaeology, but you're not quite sure about it. Um, or you've done history at A-level and you're interested in ancient history, but you're not quite sure what it might mean then taking a joint honours degree allows you to dip your toe in that other subject, that new topic, but without committing yourself wholeheartedly to that topic when you're not quite sure about it. And the advantages of taking a joint honours degree is that um, if you get to the end of your first year and you go, actually, that's not really quite for me, um, you know, I'd, I'd like to drop one half or the other, it is easier, it's not always possible, but it is easier to transfer from a joint honours programme to a single honours programme. So for example, let's say you took archaeology and history and you discovered you loved archaeology, then um, it would be relatively straightforward for you to drop the history portion and take archaeology as your uh, complete degree route for the rest of your time at university because um, you'd already done the core modules for that programme in the first year. It's much, much harder to swap from a single honours programme, say, Say you were doing history, but you took some archaeology modules and you then think, oh, actually, I really like archaeology. I'd like to you know, have a formal joint honours programme on this. It is much, much harder to transfer from a single honours programme to a joint honours programme because you haven't taken that grounding in the other subject. And often that means having to retake the first year. So if you are interested in the topic, but you're not quite sure, but you think you might want to do it at the degree level, then taking a joint honours degree is quite a good way of ensuring um, that you you um, you have options. Now it's not, as I say, always possible to change the degree route at the end of your um, uh, first year. It depends on the programmes that you want to change onto. It depends on uh, whether they've got space. Um, so it's not a it's there's no guarantee there at all. But I'd be more than happy to talk you through as admissions tutor the differences between the different programmes and what might be right for you if you wanted to get in touch. So what are the joint honours degree programmes in the Department of Classics and Archaeology at the University of Nottingham? We have two main strands. So with the Classics and Classical Civilization and Ancient History strand, we have Classics and English, Classical Civilization and Philosophy, Ancient History and Archaeology, Ancient History and History. And on the archaeology side, we've got archaeology and history, archaeology and geography, archaeology and classical civilization, and archaeology and the history of art. So you can see there's a broad range of subjects there that have been chosen to be complementary to each other. Um, and if you have any questions, please just get in touch.